Ah, the beach. The gentle sound of lapping waves. And the warmth of the sun on your tired old bones. Or not, because believe it or not, some of those seemingly relaxing beaches are actually out to get you. And if you don't believe me, well, strap in for tales of sandy horror that will chill you to your core and make you think twice about taking that beach vacation. Here are 20 most dangerous beaches in the world. Number 20. Ponani Beach Located in India, this is a sand bank that appeared quite suddenly after huge amounts of rainfall flooded the area back in 2018. The Ponani Beach in the northern district was the area most affected by the waters that literally changed the shape of the landscape. The bed of sand runs out from the shore and almost a whole kilometer into the ocean. And, of course, since this is a bit unusual and also still a sandy beach, people were especially excited to go and take a closer look at it. People on the whole tend to be somewhat slow to catch on where safety is concerned, and for some reason, people at the beach seem to leave a considerable portion of their common sense at home when they do really daft things. Now, naturally, a sandbank of shifting size and shape positioned in a tidal area does pose a risk to safety for humans, but they were all way too excited to take a slow stroll out onto the long, thin new peninsula that nobody had considered that the water might rise or indeed the sands might shift again. This has happened on several occasions before, and guess what? People did dumb stuff, and some of them paid for it with their lives. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Hanakapai Beach This beach is not only super dangerous on account of the riptides, but it's also famously deadly for a whole host of other reasons. For some reason, though, people do keep coming back here to hike and visit the trail and the beach, and surely it won't end well. Bewitchingly beautiful, as well as notoriously dangerous, this trail on the Hawaiian island of Kauai is a risky place for a hike. Stretching along the awesome coastline, this trail has been called the most beautiful in the United States, and it does look incredible. As we've seen already, though, Sometimes to see these great sights, people have had to pay with their lives. And in fact, the dangerous trail offers a spectacular selection of ways to be made dead. Sudden flash flooding from streams that run along the trail frequently take hikers by surprise, and there are of course the usual terrifying sheer drops from which to fall. Not to mention being stranded for days on end, because, you know, riptides drag people out to sea, heat stroke, dehydration, and even death by plants, the trail is infamous for a whole host of reasons. So, if you even avoid this smorgasbord of death options, it's still a very challenging and difficult hike, and it's definitely not for everyone. So take care out there, it's a jungle, and the scariest of all, you won't even be able to upload your cool photos because there's no cell phone reception. And did I mention those riptides? Well, they can be more dangerous than sharks, jellyfish, or even the kraken. These stealthy currents are responsible for around 150 deaths in the United States every single year. About 80% of all beach rescues are actually related to people getting into difficulty on account of rip currents. So what exactly is a rip current then? Well, these dangerous things are narrow and powerful currents of water, which run perpendicular to the beach and head out to sea, and you can see how being caught in one of them may be a problem. These crazy fast moving currents may be between 200 to 2500 feet in length, but as little as 30 feet wide, so it is actually possible for one person to be caught by one when others relatively nearby may be untroubled. And that's the thing with the rip current, they're tricksy things that will come out of nowhere, grab a hold of you, and pull you straight out to sea. And the thing is that even if everything in the water seems calm, you can just never be sure if there won't be a sudden rip current about to catch you off guard. Number 18. Gonsby Beach, South Africa Even though we know that riptides are super dangerous, way more than sharks, that doesn't mean that sharks don't attack. 
and in some places they seem to be extra mean and deadly. Like here in Gonsby Beach in South Africa. Well, actually there are loads of beaches in South Africa that are positively riddled with sharks, and they're all quite ravenous, but this particular stretch of beach is known as the Great White Shark Capital. For most people, this would definitely be an invitation to not take a plunge or even risk a toe in the water to be honest, but apparently some absolute nutters seem to find the addition of deadly predators even more compelling. The area is especially popular amongst thrill-seeking divers, and this is common for them to use shark cages to take a dip. But even so, it seems more or less insane, however you may happen to look at it. It was a great white shark that had stalked the coastline in the famous 1975 movie Jaws, and this really is one massive and terrifying monster. The great white is a purpose-built killing machine, with so many adaptations and features designed to make this shark one of the most efficient hunters on the planet, they have three rows of viciously sharp teeth, about 300 in total. It seems that as many as half of all shark attacks on humans in the world may be attributed to the Great White, although these sharks may not always be out to kill the humans that they nibble on. I don't know how you can tell if a shark has good intentions or not, though. Some scientists have suggested that the shark is just merely curious and taking a sample taste of a human but will discard them when it realizes that it's not really what it was looking for. It's not too comforting for the victim, though. The sheer size and enthusiasm of that bite means that many great white snack-sized nibbles are fatal anyways. Number 17. New Smyrna Beach, Florida This stretch of water at New Smyrna Beach on Florida's Atlantic coast is considered the world's most dangerously shark-infested and when you consider how many sharks there are in Australia or South Africa, that is really quite the accolade. Florida is always excelling at something now, isn't it? Although there are many, many shark bites every year, it is the shark bite capital of the world after all. In fact, three surfers were bitten in just one day a couple of years back. Hardly any of these bites are ever fatal, so that's perfectly fine then. Sharks may have a reputation for being naughty people-eaters, but to be perfectly honest, they're not actually fans of the old human meat at all. And that's the thing with sharks, they may bite you, but they probably won't actually eat you, and if they do, they will most likely puke you up once again. I know it's utterly charming to think about. Anyway, the truth is that despite the fact that sharks really don't find people all that tasty, they still feel compelled to try a bite before they make a final decision to spit that limb back out again. There are approximately 100 recorded shark attacks annually, and of these, 20 end in the death of the person, and that's usually because of blood loss. You know, on the account of all the sampling that the shark does. The good news is that although there are 400 different species of shark, only about 10 of them are actually dangerous to humans. So that's a relief, even if it is still not exactly 100% reassuring. Number 16. Playa Zipolite, Mexico Next up we have another beach which is famous for its dangerous riptides. Huzzah! Such fun vacation destinations we're looking at today. Please, do not go ahead and book a holiday based on anything that you see in this video. You've been warned, even if they do all look stunningly beautiful or whatever, these places are still trying to end your life. End of public service announcement. This is Playa Zipolite on the west coast of Mexico, a place whose name I've probably mispronounced twice by now. As well as its reputation for super gnarly water, it's also one of the very few nudist beaches in the whole country. But even if you're liberated enough to strip off, you still won't want to swim in these waters, not if you value your life anyway. For a little more context, the locals actually call this shoreline the Beach of the Dead which may sound like one of the extra morbid things that they like to say, but they aren't kidding in this instance, because around 50 people lose their lives in these waters every single year. Turns out, being liberated may not be worth it. Number 14. Red Triangle, California Located in the Pacific Ocean off the coast of California, the area known as the Red Triangle is not a place to take a dip in the water. Not if you want to live to see another day, that is. The area runs from Bodega Bay down to Big Sur and incorporates all of the San Francisco region. It's a part of the ocean that's famous for its marine wildlife, 
There are actually huge populations of sea mammals in the water here. Creatures like elephant seals, harbor seals, sea lions, and sea otters, they all live in these abundant waters. And as a result, so do the sharks. In particular, great white sharks. These various mammals are their favorite meals, and so they too hang out here in large numbers. Now, as we've already established by this point, sharks are not really the sort of fish that you want to be sharing your water with, but oddly enough, a whole bunch of water sport enthusiasts don't really seem to be unduly perturbed by this issue. The San Francisco Bay Area is extremely densely populated with humans, and many of these humans are evidently insane and prone to expressing that through diving, windsurfing, swimming, and regular surfing in these shark-infested waters. Well, it does take all sorts now, doesn't it? Let's just hope that they manage to keep all of their limbs intact. Number 13. Praia do Norte, Portugal And now for another beach whose name I've mispronounced that has been so thoroughly excellent at being dangerous that it's even caught the attention of our old pals, those clipboard clutchers at the Guinness Book of World Records. This is a beach in Portugal, located in Nazaire, and the beach has such giant waves that it's broken all the records. In fact, these waves aren't only big, they're also very close to the shore and create an especially dangerous situation for small vessels and swimmers alike. The waves frequently capsize boats or catch people by surprise, and drowning is a very real risk in the sea. But as we have seen before, the risk is also extremely appealing to some individuals because they don't see the danger as a warning, but rather as a challenge. And so surfers will flock here in the attempt to ride the colossal 70-foot high waves, and that sometimes achieved, hence the world record for the biggest wave ever surfed being recorded here. Still though, the risk of instant death is pretty high as well. Number 12. Kosi Bay, South Africa Back in South Africa and back to swimming with sharks. This time we are with a bunch of bull sharks and they are the most aggressive and dangerous species in the world. How wonderful! This is Kosi Bay in South Africa and despite its appearance, it is definitely not that beautiful just below the surface. This shoreline is actually made up of four lakes that are all interlinked and create a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It's one of the most quiet beaches in South Africa and there's a pretty good reason for that. This estuary is stuffed full of sharks, and they are rather hungry. The bull shark, also known as the Zambezi shark, because this guy can often be found swimming about and eating people in rivers. You know, like the Zambezi River. And if it wasn't a sharky enough thing in all the oceans, these ones have also decided they want to live in warm, shallow waters, not only along the coast but also in freshwater rivers and estuaries. Yes, the bull shark is not fussy about its habitat. It enjoys swimming a long way, so you just never know quite where it may pop up next. Oh, and they're also notoriously aggressive. These sharks have been known to swim all the way up to the Mississippi River, as far as Alton, Illinois, which is 700 miles away from the ocean. This news is not exactly reassuring when you find out that it is bull sharks, and not the great whites, which are responsible for almost all of the nearshore attacks, and they're large and solid sharks with one of the most fierce bite forces amongst any type of fish. The scariest thing about this species of shark is that they can be found just about anywhere, from the Ohio River to the Ganges, and from Sydney Harbor to the Jersey Shore. I'm seriously reconsidering that canoeing vacation now. Number 11. Reunion Island, France This next beach is actually an entire island. Reunion Island is located off the coast of Madagascar and has long been seen as a tropical paradise and was enjoyed by surfers, well, it was, until 2011. That was the year that there were six shark attacks and things have only gotten worse since then. Surfers have even been killed by sharks in these waters in recent years, and funnily enough, people are beginning to avoid the entire area. This is an instance where the normal and probably healthy fear of sharks has actually meant people have begun to stay away. This is bad news for the tourist industry on the island, but to be perfectly honest, it's good news for all the surfers' limbs and, well, future staying alive and intact situation. Number 10. Boa Viagam Beach, Brazil Another beach, another heap of shark-based statistics, lucky old us. We really are being spoiled today now, aren't we? 
Boa Via Gambich in Brazil used to be a favorite among surfers, but these days they're keeping their distance because this particular beach has amongst the highest shark attack rates on the planet. There have been close to 60 attacks in the last 20 years, but the worst part is not that number, it's actually the death rate. If you're attacked in these waters, the death rate is a staggeringly high 37%. There's a reason that these waters are so especially sharky, because just off the coast here, there is a trench beneath the waves. And this is part of a migratory route that is used by these creatures. They therefore do all of their hunting in the shallow waters that surround the trench, and that means by the beach. It hasn't helped any matters in recent decades that a huge amount of development has been taking place along the coastline, and as a result, there have been massive disruptions and changes to the marine wildlife in the area. This also means that the sharks are looking for different food sources, because their traditional meals are becoming more scarce. That's bad news for people, because although the shark doesn't usually choose to eat a person, a very hungry shark will be considerably less discerning. Number 9. Girgoen Chowpatty, India If you are ever in Mumbai and it's especially a hot day, let's face it, it probably is, then you may think that a trip to the beach is a good idea. But it is not. Never ever think this, because the beach is a very, very bad idea, even if you are melting. This is the beach of Chowpatty, and it is a squalored filth fest of the highest order. In fact, if you can find any area of this beach that is not covered in sewage and garbage, then you've likely performed an actual miracle. There is disgusting detritus over everything, and toxic foam and general human waste scattered across the beach and throughout the waters. It is the most poisonous beach in the world. It should be obvious that this is not a place that any human being would be advised to set foot in, but in case you were thinking that it didn't look too bad, you should know that the water here is literally teeming with poop germs. Fecal coliform caused by raw sewage outlets, storm drains, and, well, people just doing plops in the water has raised to a disgusting 1,455 per 100 milliliters. And the highest allowed, which is still too much if you ask me, is 500 per 100 milliliters. Ugh. Number 8. The Skeleton Coast The forbidding landscape of the Skeleton Coast is a bleak, desolate terrain that stretches to the Atlantic Ocean from Namibia. The name of this region is derived from the fact that whale and seal bones used to be found all over the place. This was in the past though, and nowadays the skeletons along the dry sandy desert coastline are much more likely to be those of shipwrecks that have found their ending on the dangerous rocks in the foggy conditions off the coastline of this place. The nature of the desert is such that the scene never appears the same way twice, and the shifting sands are constantly altering the appearance of the shipwrecks of the skeleton coast. Number 7. Bikini Atoll, U.S. Marshall Islands The infamy of Bikini Atoll probably goes without saying for many people, but in case you aren't aware, this South Pacific island was the location of the United States nuclear testing between 1946 and 1958. This was the height of the nuclear arms race during the Cold War. The United States had chose this location in the aftermath of the Second World War for a nuclear test site, so being the aggressor in such situations, they forcibly removed the island's 167 inhabitants and sent them to a nearby island that didn't actually have the means to support the new population. Standard stuff, then. For the next decade or so, the United States would test all kinds of nasty nuclear bombs in the islands and the lagoon, and in 1970, residents returned to their home, but when they were tested, and their water supply for that matter, in 1978, it would be discovered that their radiation levels were dangerously high. So much so that these days there are no sharks even lurking in the water. The fruits from the trees here are not considered safe to eat, and although the islands are technically open to tourism, it is still a radiation hotspot and bears terrible contamination to this day. The residents were made to evacuate once again in 1980. Number 6. Tamarama Beach, Australia Back in Australia, the land down under, where death is inevitable in many new and interesting varieties, not the least of which is the beach.
This is the Tamarama Beach, alongside the south side of Sydney, but don't be fooled by its beauty. This place is also trying to kill you. The riptides at this shoreline are infamous. There are two staggeringly dangerous ones right on the beach, and because of these, there are at least 150 people who need to be rescued from the treacherous waters every single year. The sea here is quite dangerous for any swimming, even when it appears to be a gentle swell, and the two currents are actually recorded at being able to produce rip currents of 2 meters a second. That's how fast you will be dragged out to sea, and there is absolutely nothing that you can do about it. Number 5. Dumas Beach, India Next up is a slightly weird reason for a beach to be dangerous, but I like to mix it up here at the Fancy Banana. This is Dumas Beach in India, and it's believed to be the most haunted beach in the world. Never thought about a beach having a ghost problem? Well, think again. Dumas Beach is positively brimming with spooky specters and ghoulish happenings. It was a cremation ground, and apparently this has left the entire shoreline riddled with discontented spirits of those who were never able to leave. Oh, and as well as all that ghost stuff, there's also a huge gang of king cobras that live there. And, well, those things will straight up murder you. So that's all good enough reason to steer clear of this beach. Number 4. North Sentinel Island Beach, India The Sentinelese are of the most isolated people on the planet. They actively reject any contact with the outside world, and they may have inhabited their island as a people for 55,000 years now. Complete isolation on a small island in the Indian Ocean means that the Sentinelese are violently protective of their territory and have murdered anyone that has poked their nose into their business. It does sound harsh, but with their neighboring island's populations destroyed by disease that was imported from other places, any germ or virus that they might catch from an outsider would probably wipe them out. Obviously, it's tricky to understand anything much about a tribe that you can't really get near without receiving an arrow in the chest. And so, all that's known has been observed by a few nosy parkers on boats that were carefully moored further out than the arrows could reach off the coast of the island. In 1880, a British expedition would land on the island and discover the villages and houses abandoned. Presumably, the tribe had seen the invading force and then hidden themselves. The expeditioners did come across an old couple and some children, and in the hideous wisdom of the colonial attitude, they then kidnapped the people from the island for scientific reasons. The Sentinelese quickly became sick with disease, and the older people all perished. The children were returned to the island, but how many were then infected with deadly diseases is obviously unknown. It's no wonder that the outsider is met with hostility by the Sentinelese. Various attempts at communication have been made throughout the 1970s and 80s, with gifts being left on the beaches, but most were rejected and then buried by the tribe. More recently, it's finally been accepted that this is probably the safest for the Sentinelese tribe if they're just left in peace. I guess the nosy parkers have finally gotten the message. Number 3. Cairns, Australia Box jellyfish are a bad thing, a very bad and dangerous thing indeed. A sting from several of these species is enough to kill a human, and the waters around Cairns in Australia are stuffed to the brim with them between November and June. Stinger season, as it's known, is responsible for huge numbers of close calls and dangerous stings being inflicted upon swimmers in the area. Fraser Island, which is a, a big sandy island which doesn't have great habitat for polyps. Some of these jellyfish are only as big as a thumb, but that doesn't make them any less dangerous. Hospitalizations are not uncommon, and if left untreated for too long, the victim can usually expect a slow and painful death. The sting itself can be mild and then fade away, but about 35 minutes or so later, well, that's when all the crazy symptoms begin, which can lead up to cardiac arrest. And that, my friends, is the end. Number 2. Maho Beach, St. Martin a tropical paradise or a crazy dangerous flight path? I'll leave it up to you to decide. This is the mad beach at St. Martin in the Caribbean, located within a stone's throw of the International Airport, and therefore a wildly popular spot for visitors to get a little bit of a thrill as their scalps are skimmed by the landing aircraft. Really, it is almost that close. Located immediately under the flight path, 
Maho Beach is the final approach before planes land on the runway and people head out here to watch this unique spectacle every day. The beach has actually suffered as a result of being perpetually blasted by jet flow and has almost no vegetation, but the people still end up flocking there nonetheless. Number 1. Cable Beach, Australia now, I think I've definitely established that Australia is a place that is quite simply trying to murder you. But here we are again at yet another beach down under, being menaced by all sorts of murderous monsters. <laughs> and so, what delights can we expect to encounter in this terrifying last moment? Well, this place has a double whammy, the land is stuffed full of poisonous snakes, and deadly spiders, and then the water has a smorgasbord of box jellyfish, white pointer sharks, and also the added novelty of saltwater crocodiles, just to keep things extra fruity. Now, naturally, this location is notorious for swimmers winding up rather dead, so the advice is just to avoid it altogether. I mean, why would you even risk it? If you did somehow avoid getting stung, which is highly unlikely, you'll probably be eaten. And if you somehow manage to escape the clutches of a crocodile or a shark, you'll probably be snared in a deadly spider web and then poisoned by a snake. Oh, such fun. Well, who's going to run out and book their next beach vacation now? How about a lovely peaceful city break instead? Which of these dangerous beaches captured your imagination the most? And have you ever been to any of these places? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comments section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I will see you next time.